you have risked a point in your quantitative research study where you need to analyze your data. You have also decided to use MaxQDA. MaxQDA is one of the most reliable computer-assisted quantitative data analysis softwares. We are going to go through six steps, including a general introduction into MaxQDA and its functionalities, importing transcripts, coding, coming up with themes, exporting the code list, and for using the data analysis report. This video is about conducting qualitative analysis using MaxQDA. You can analyze transcripts after you conduct your interviews, semi-structured interviews, or focus groups. The first thing we do is in MaxQDA, we can open a project. Yes, let's call that new project one. I don't want to change anything. So the first thing that you see when you open MaxQDA is this top menu where you have home, import, codes, memos, variables, analysis, mixed methods, visual tools, reports, and all that in stats. Then we have the second menu here with text, PDFs, transcripts, import. Then we have on my left, we have document sets, code sets. Basically, this will be a beginner lesson on how to get codes and combine codes to form themes. The first thing you can do is import documents. Basically, what I want to do is to go to my downloads, grab my focus group, which I want to analyze here, drag and drop it inside. I'm importing that document into Max QDA. You can see this is my focus group. Now, before we import, you can always create a group and call this focus groups. If you have different focus groups, you can create a group there. And you can create another group if you have different kind of documents and call this transcripts. This is some of the housekeeping work you can do in Max UDA. Then we can grab my transcript or my focus group and put it in there, okay? If you double click on it, it opens and this you view the document after you import it. After you import a document in Max UDA, you can then begin coding. Before we begin coding, I want to define a code. A code is a label or interpretive statement to specific information that's important to our research question or objectives. Okay, let's start coding. This focus group is about discussion among depressed pregnant women in urban low-income areas. The interviewer says expectant mothers experience a lot of stress either from family or life. We want to hear from you what makes pregnant mothers be stressed. Let's share our experiences so that when we will be presenting, we can know the problem among the expectant mothers and find a solution because you are considered a special group and you need not be stressed. There are different reasons that can result to stress. Let's share the experiences as everyone has our own experiences. This is a focus group, which means different were interviewed. Let's look at the first respondent. How are you? What makes us mothers to be stressed is how you live. Maybe you don't have work, you're pregnant. Maybe you don't have work, pregnant. Highlight that section we want to code. Right click and say or select the first option that is with new code. And then we want to assign a red color to that and call this unemployment. Remember we are only adding labels or interpretive statements to information that's important to our research question. So unemployment, one of the causes of stress among pregnant women. Then when life becomes a challenge, the husband becomes noisy in the house with arguments now and then. This makes mothers be stressed. We can see another reason here is when life becomes a challenge, the husband becomes noisy in the house with arguments now and then. This makes mothers be stressed. This one is, again, now we can assign that the next color there, which is maroon. This one can be spousal conflicts.
click OK. Then keep going. Other stressful situation is when sick during your pregnancy, as you can't manage yourself. Highlight that section, right click, click on with new code, and then choose the next color. Sickness during pregnancy, click OK, that's another code, or enter. Then you have kids, no work, there's no way you can feed them. So this contributes to a lot of those resulting into stress. Inability to provide for families, right click with new code. And let's assign this another color code like this color, inability to provide for family. Okay, let's keep coding. Interviewer, can we have an example of something that stressed you much? The first respondent says, before I met you, having in much stress, my life was a bit difficult as my husband and his family stressed me. Okay, my life was a bit difficult as my husband and his family stressed me. It reached a point of him moving out of the house. This is spouse or cons. Now, because this code or this statement coincides with spousal conflict code, how do we solve this? We can right click and go to select this area with spousal conflicts. Okay, that means we want to put that statement in there like that. If you double click here, you can see these two statements. And life becomes a challenge. And then reach a point of moving out of the house. So these two are codes then this really stressed me as I didn't know what to do as I was jobless. Again, we see another statement here. Now, this one I want to show you another way. Being jobless is the same as an unemployment, right? This statement, we can drag and drop it inside the unemployment. It's the same as right-clicking and going with unemployment, okay? We assign that statement into the unemployment code, and that's another way. Let's continue coding. How are you? This is the second respondent. Stress comes in when you're not getting along with your husband. He cannot purchase food or parent. He said he runs away. When you're not getting along with your husband, that can we can drag and drop that into spousal conflicts. He cannot purchase food or parent. He said he runs away. You find yourself lonely, stressed on how you parent. The school fees and there is no way you can go to work. You can right click with new code, and then we can. Add another color here, lack of financial support from spouses. Okay, then click OK. Then we have the third respondent. I usually do sales, as you know, it has a lot of pressure. It reached a time I told my boss that I won't be attending my work daily due to some business queries which are hacked. We can say this person is talking about job demands, being stressful as a pregnant woman. Right click, create new code, let's assign a new color code for that and call this job demands. My second stress was my neighbors whom we usually had issues with, but I vacated. At least now I've sorted out work. I'm not going daily, surrounding has changed. They had issues with neighbors. Again, we right click, highlight that statement and call this. We give this a new color code and call this conflict. with neighbors click ok just keep coding for the respondent my stress comes from diseases right click go to with new code and give this a new color code that's green my stress comes from diseases illness so illness Lack of source of income. This one can be lack of a stable source of income. Parents' expectations, like for me, 
my parents didn't expect me to get pregnant at this time. It's kind of relation between us it will take time to grow back to how it was. This agreement with parents and click OK. Those are just some codes that I've made there in a fast way. You can see I have codes with different color codes. Now, having all these codes means we can move to the next stage of getting themes. Before we go and develop themes, I want you to understand that themes are categories of codes with a shared pattern of meaning. If we combine different codes with a shared pattern of meaning, that will form categories which we are going to call themes. If we are stuck in the use of Max UDA to analyze your interview transcripts, contact me for solutions, including consultation and an ad for you service. Check email and link in the description below. Now, let's get themes. One of the themes I see is if you look at lack of financial support from spouses, unemployment, lack of a stable source of income, all those point out to financial issues. If I go to codes now, I talk about financial issues as a theme. Create, and we created this financial Okay, and then I can add a memo. I want to describe what this theme means. For themes, we have to add a description. This represents all financial issues that cause stress on pregnant women. Click OK. That's the description. Now that's a theme. Now, because financial issues is a theme, we are going to give it its own color so that we assign everything related to financial issues there. I want to use red for that. Drag and drop unemployment, drag and drop lack of a stable source of income. It's a financial issue. All of this now I think should be blue because, yeah, let's use blue for that. Lack of financial support from spouses. It's a financial issue. Drag and drop it under financial issues. Anything else related to financial issues? Under the theme of financial issues, you can see we have so many issues like lack of financial support lack of stable source of income and unemployment. These three codes have a shared meaning that points to the theme of financial issues. Let's form another theme. You can see conflict with neighbors, spousal conflict. I can form a new theme under codes, click on this plus sign and call this conflict, okay? Let's just click okay. I can add or I can go back to this theme and go to code memo and say this represents any kind conflict experience by pregnant others. Okay. Let's close that. And then under conflict, now we can drag this code called conflict with neighbors under that theme. And we can go look for spouse or conflict. Drag and drop it there. Yeah? Another kind of con I don't see any other. Okay. Inability to provide for family is a code I think that should still be under financial issues. Okay. That one I put it under financial issue. We still have spouse or conflicts. And this one should be, I think this should be red. So this should be red. Yes, I want to change. All subcodes, all of them should be red. Financial issues, all of them should be green. Should be blue, sorry. Then another theme, you can see illness and sickness, okay? I can go and create another theme. Call it 
illnesses. Then say, this represents any form of illnesses affecting pregnant mothers okay then bring this to illness this is the main one and i still need to edit if you right click you can edit that i drag and drop this code called illness inside there the one called sickness during pregnancy inside there. now we can see that's how we get things for example for financial issues we have five codes if you look we have one two three four we have five statements supporting that and for every theme that we form if you select activate included subcodes the first option you will to see the statements forming that okay basically these are the themes and under them we have codes a pattern of shared meaning between the codes will form the themes after you are done with that you can always come and generate some kind of reports like overview of coded segments and you can see all the coded areas and you can also see overview of codes okay like all the codes that you've made now, after doing all the coding and coming up with themes, you can go to the report area in Max UDA and click export, go to code system, and you can export your code system. You can export it as a Word document, for example, this, and call this code system. This is like a code book. And let's say include memos, because I want to include the definitions I just made. So this is the coding system you're going to get with clear descriptions for every main theme. For example, this represents any form of illnesses affecting pregnant mothers. You can see I have the code system there. Conflict. This represents the kind of conflict experienced by pregnant mothers. And basically, that's how we develop the code book. Remember, I can assist you to analyze your transcripts using Mark's studio. Oh. Simply click the link in the description or email me and I can provide either a consulting service or a done for me service. Thank you.